Hey guys, it's Dustin LeClaire with Live by LeClaire Co., powered by Keller Williams Realty. I just want to jump on here real quick today and talk to all those people who are thinking of possibly selling their house in 2022. Um, I just want to give you a quick point of reference. I know there's a huge misunderstanding out there and a common myth that, you know, waiting till the spring is the best time to put your home on the market. End of March, April, May. Um, but I'll tell you, in the last few years, at least in New England, Massachusetts, we've seen that that's uh, not exactly the case. Um, we're seeing that sellers are netting the most money uh, in the beginning of the year, January, February, uh, maybe the beginning of March as well. And the reason for that is uh, levels of inventory. Uh, the inventory levels this time of year going into the start of a new year uh, tend to be the lowest throughout the year. Um, and with everything that's been going on the last couple of years, we're starting to see that the inventory is taking a bigger and bigger hit each and every winter. So just to give you, you know, a little bit of perspective here, Middlesex County, uh, as of today, singles, condos, and multifamilies available for sale at this time only 688 properties. Now, there's a population of 1.6 million people in Middlesex County. So 688 homes really isn't gonna take us all that far. And when we say Middlesex County, we're talking, you know, Cambridge, Somerville area, down Route 2, all the way out to, you know, towns in Pepperell area. So you're talking about a very large area with quite a few different towns in it um, and quite a few town, desirable towns at that um, areas that have a lot of uh, housing in general, generally speaking. So to have only 688 properties for sale on the market now, that's singles, condos, and multifamilies. If I were to take condos and multis off of that search, there are only 293 single family homes for sale in Middlesex County in Massachusetts as of right now, today, December 30th, 2021. So if I'm looking at that, if I see these numbers and I'm thinking to myself, you know, I'm gonna sell my home in 2022. Well, I'm telling you, do not wait until March or April to put your home on the market. Yes, I understand there's a very small inventory out there. It's, it may be difficult for us to find a new place for you to go, um, but there are a lot of options out there. There's a lot of different ways that we can structure things to make sure you can either stay in your home or um, maybe use a bridge loan and use the equity in your home to go purchase another home. Um, maybe there's a place that you can rent. Um, we have some resources that hold on to short-term rentals uh, for this very purpose. Um, you have options. So I don't, I don't want you to think, oh, Dustin, you know, there's going to be nothing for me to buy. There's always a way to take advantage of the market and take advantage of your individual unique situation. Um, So if you want to make sure that you capitalize and get top dollar for your home and net the most amount of money in the quickest amount of time, get your home ready now. Get your home ready now. Get it on by the end of January, the beginning of February. Beat the competition and I promise you, you will reap the benefits. You will get the most amount of money for your house that you will would have seen all year long. You know, you wait till March, April. That's what everybody does. That's a common myth in the market. So, you know, all these sellers believe that that's the best time because your home shows the best. You can take the best photographs. The grass is green. The flowers are growing. I'm here to tell you that in this market, in today's market, those things don't matter. The the driving factor is lack of inventory, making sure you're priced correctly, 
making sure you have a plan in place and that you're working with a realtor who knows how to market your property to get the most exposure possible so that you can bring the most people through the door and get the most offers on the table and uh, be able to net the most amount of income. So, um, you know, I just want to reiterate, if you are going to sell your home in 2022, do not wait, have the conversation now, talk to a realtor who is in tune with the market, who has develop, developed relationships to help you through the process and to make it as stress-free as possible. If you are thinking about selling your home in 2022, all I would ask is that you reach out to me. There's no obligation. There's no cost. I'm happy to offer you a free market analysis on your property, as well as a marketing plan and show you how we would position your home on the market to put you in the most advantageous position.